Hey, what's up? Welcome to Neon Motions. And in this After Effects tutorial, we'll be creating this uh, CC cylinder tunnel typographic thing here. If you look at my previous video, I will show I show you how to create this tile. Let me open up this tile here. So this text tile, text tile, this text tile, this text tile uh, will be the base for what we create this for. If you want to know how to create this, you can go to, go to the previous video. Uh, if not, let me break this down quickly. We have our source text here. So our source text comp size is 480 by 108. So this is a number that you can divide from your 1920 by 1080 comp. So what, why this is so is so that you can you can tile it easily and you can loop it with the motion tile and the tile center. So under my controller here, I have my X and Y speed controller and I link it to this tile center and they just move across depending on what my speed is. So now it's one and negative one, which makes it go diagonally. So when I bring it back to my polar type here, this is what I get. So let's create this uh, new comp. So I'm going to create a new comp. It is 1080 by 1920. I'm going to bring in my text tile 1 here. So this is how it looks like. And I'm going to bring in my CC cylinder CC cylinder here. And this is what I get. Uh, I think you can sort of guess where I'm going with this already. So let's rotate the X to negative... 90 and then I will have to extend this using the motion tile again to bring it up above uh, CC cylinder and change the output height. Let's give it 1000 and then if you want you can keep extending it and because of this I can actually move move the position cross Z until I don't see it anymore. So say about here and you can see that the text is uh, inverted. So let's go to our scale, uncheck the constraint and go negative 100 on X and we should be able to get this. And control alternate shift C. Let's bring up a camera and using the camera you can play with different, how to say, angles, field of view or uh, distortion. So this is how it looks like with a 15 millimeter. can go to 80 and looks very compressed. Uh, see what looks good to you and what, what kind of look you want to achieve. And maybe you want to blur the middle. You can use a Gaussian blur, blur mat or mask, something like that. So uh, another interesting thing, instead of using this tile, you can use the vertical tile that we did in the previous video. Replace it and then we get this uh, different effect here. Uh, another thing we can do is to change the camera angle as well. So click on the camera here. Gonna Click C to toggle between my camera tools. You can shift it to the side. I'm holding shift as I do this. And then I can use this, this tool to adjust the angle as well. Let's see how this looks like with the first one. So it's a very interesting tunnel y tunnel -y, tunnel, tunnel effect. So you can play around with it and see what kind of stuff you you get okay in my next video i show you how i create this cube like tunnel effect using the same motion tile setup that we just did for the past two videos hey thanks for watching this tutorial i would like to share this beta version of a typography template that i just created i'm releasing it for a limited time and i intend to sell it after this beta test so a few important points one is that i recommend you to use after effects cc 2020 or version 17 but i also down saved it up to 2018 even though i don't think it will work uh, as well uh, that's because of the a lot of these master properties things that i used in the template two is that it's made for vertical video which means it's mobile friendly and it's suitable for social media three is that it uses a lot of master properties and controllers which may be too many so i would like to know what you think and what the experience of this template is for you you can download it in the link below but I also recommend that you watch this walkthrough video. So thank you and let me know your feedback.